Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been to different occasions before today, and I feel that I cannot thank you enough. And every time, wherever I go, I have to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are amazing. I. I think you cho chose to be a true human, and you are true to your Irishness and your humanity, and you chose the right cause, and you chose to stand with, with justice, and you to stand with the oppressed people. You, 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 you are more than amazing. You are great. I am proud to be an Irish Palestinian, and I am... I am proud to have all of you and to see to see all of you it's part of my healing. I have an amazing friends. I am so lucky to have them that they stood with me in in in, in my difficult times and in the hardship I I faced. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't want to be uh, too long. I'll just hi highlight a few points. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the, de the details and the difficulty and the pain we have faced because I get emotional and I start crying and do want, I don't want you to start crying as well. So I just want to say that we inherited a dream from our parents. And we try and we are trying all for all our life to fulfill our dreams and our parents' dream. Do you think, I, I say to the Israelis and to, to the whole world, do you think I or any Palestinian can betray their mothers and fathers? No! No! We will not rest. My parents are dead, but I will work to fulfill their dreams. Their dreams is to have a free Palestine. And their dreams all for all their life was to go back to their own village that they were expelled from by the Zionist gangs. It was not uh, Israel, it was gangs, Israeli gangs, uh, Zionist gangs. And they were teenage, teenagers when they were kicked out of their village and of, uh, of, from Palestine. And we will work for the rest of our life. If we cannot achieve their dream, I say to my kids, I will hand this dream for you to keep in your life and to work to achieve your grandparents' dream and your father and mother's dreams. And I say to the Zionist gangs, the criminals, you came to the wrong place. And until now you have all the intelligence and you are occupying us and you know everyone in Gaza and Palestine. But unfortunately you don't know us. For the last seven months, in spite of all the pain and the wound is in our heart is so deep, we lost so many people of our families, friends, relatives. We had to carry babies shattered into pieces. We, our, my sister died in the north and we couldn't see her. She died of hunger. We lost so many of our cousins, our families and our extended families. But we will not, you break, I say to the Israelis, you break our houses, you destroyed Gaza, but you will not break our will. <laughs> You 
succeeded, you succeeded, you are so brave. You succeeded in killing 13,000 children. And you killed more than, by now, 35,000 plus and 10,000 people still under the rubble. My wife, my wife, niece, is still for the last six months under the rubble in northern Gaza with her husband, parents-in-law, kids, and her extended family still under the rubble for the last six months. You succeeded in killing all these people, but you will not kill the fire in our heart to liberate Palestine and to free Palestine. You people, you are great. You chose to stand with Palestine and to stand with justice. You chose, chose the right course. You chose the right side. You are joining our struggle and we will together march. And I tell you, I am very sure this will be, we will march with you to Palestine, to free Palestine very soon. And all what they are doing will harden our life, our hearts. We will not rest until we bring those criminals those gangsters to justice. I want, I don't want to take long time from you. I really, from the bottom of my heart, the deepest of my heart, I want to thank every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We are proud of you, I am proud of you. Thank you so much.